Hello, in this video I'm going to show how to create a slab from a grasshopper style. Grasshopper style are basically visual art objects driven by grasshopper definitions. So I'm going to show you a grasshopper definition that generates a composite slab. So I've got a list of inputs and some outputs. As inputs, I get one curve that will be the boundary curve of the slab. So I draw a rectangle, for example. I do right click on this icon, set one curve. And this is what the definition generates. So I've got some inputs for the total thickness of the slab, another for the sheet thickness, and some other parameters to control the shape of the metal sheet. And then, as output parameters, I have different geometry components that separate the different parts of the uh, final objects into different uh, geometry components, and I also have some read-only information that I will be able to see for each object on the properties panel. In this case, I have calculated the volume for the concrete layer and another for the metal sheet. It's important to name them accordingly, so we'll be able to identify this information when we create the slab style. For this particular example, I have also created a bounding box that will be used as a preview of the object. This will let me insert this object faster and get a better performance when I edit it. Also, it's important to name all these components accordingly. Now, I save this definition. I can close Grasshopper now. I do right click on the slab icon to open the slab style dialog. Now, I'm going to create a new style. Select new, Grasshopper slab style. We'll browse to find my grasshopper definition. Next, I need to specify for this object which one of the inputs will act as a boundary. So I need to select here the boundary curve that I had in the grasshopper file, which will act as a linked property. Click Next. And now I can see the different geometry output components. So I have the metal sheet, the concrete layer, and the bounding volume. I will use this component as a preview of the object, so I can uncheck it from the model and plan view representation. And again, in order to get a better performance, I will uncheck the metal sheet and concrete from the previews. Now I click Next, and I can see here the list of inputs that I can decide if I want to edit them by object, by style, or hide them from the dialogs. In the case of the total thickness, I can set this to be editable by object. And here I can see the read-only information that I generated in Grasshopper as well. I can set the visibility by object, so I have also the option to set it to known, and the type will be a volume in this case, for both components. I click Finish. And since I created two components for this object, I can now select one of them individually, for example, the metal sheet, and assign a specific material to it. Click OK, and now I'm ready to insert this slab. Run the slab command, select this composite slab style, and draw it in the model. Just notice that now I only see that bonding volume as a preview of the object while I'm inserting it. Once this object is inserted, I will be able to select it and edit it from the control points. I will be able also to select it and from the properties panel, select the slab. Here I can see the concrete layer volume and the metal sheet volume and change the thickness. I will be also able to uh, use this style with the option to create slabs from curves. So we can run the slabs from curves command, select this style, select a curve. 
and the slab will be created with the standard parameters.